In this video, I'll show you how to automatically increment a number every time an Excel workbook is opened. Okay, so I have an Excel tab here, and I have a cell which is for a unique identifier. And this unique identifier begins at a certain number, let's say at number one. Now, what I want here is I want this number in cell F1 to be incremented. I want it to be incremented by one every time this workbook is opened up. So in other words, whatever the number in cell F1 is upon closing this spreadsheet, I want the next time that I open up the workbook, this number to be incremented by one automatically without the user having to uh, change the number manually. And this could be easily done using a VBA code. And the VBA code required for this is very simple. And it is currently displayed on the screen. And it's also available in the description box of this video. So you can just copy paste uh, it from the description box. So here's what you need to do in order to make this work. So we want the number in cell F1 to be incremented by one every time we open up this particular spreadsheet. So this is a very simple private sub. So it takes the data in sheet one, we're in sheet one right now. And it looks into cell F1. And every time the workbook is opened, this number in cell F1 will be incremented by one. Now in this example, we're, incre we're incrementing it by one, we can change that number to whatever number we want. But we just want to have a unique identifier, which increases by one every time we open this up. So that's the goal. Now I will apply this to the workbook. But just well, note that in order for this to work, your spreadsheet must be saved as a macro enabled workbook. So if your workbook isn't saved as macro enabled, just pause this video, save it as a macro enabled workbook, and then go through the rest of the video. Okay, so we have to go to the developer tab first. So in case you don't know how to add the developer tab, you have to go to file, options, customize ribbon, and just check this box for developer. And that's only if you don't currently have the developer tab in the ribbon. This is how to add it. And after you click on OK, it's going to be added. So after you add the developer tab to the ribbon, the next step is going to Visual Basic. And then you have to go to this workbook. And then just copy and paste the code. Now the code here is incrementing the number in cell F1 of this particular tab, sheet one by one. Now, if you have another cell reference in mind, you can enter that cell reference. It could be any cell in the workbook. And um, we're incrementing it by one. You can increment it by whatever number you have in mind. But the goal here is to increment it by one. So that's how the code works. And then just save and X out. So the code has been applied successfully. So now what we have to do is test it. So, so the unique identifier I've en entered here is, so the unique, so the unique identifier I've entered here is one. So I'm going to go ahead and save this workbook, close it and reopen it. So upon reopening it, this number should be incremented by one. So after we open it, this number here should be two. So let's close this workbook and reopen it. Closed it. Now I'll reopen the exact same workbook that I just closed. All right. As you can see, the number in cell F1 it has been incremented by one, and the number is now equal to two. So next time I save this, close it, and open it again, this number is going to be three, and so on and so forth. So every time I close it, and reopen it, it's going to be incremented by one. And this is how it's done using the VBA code, which is a very, very simple private sub, which you have to place in the this workbook section in the developer tab in Visual Basic. And this gets the job done. Now, the practical use case for this is if you want a unique identifier for your report. So this data set is the same data set I used in my last video in case you haven't watched it. The link to that video is also available in the description box. In my last video, I demonstrated how to import CSV versions of an Excel tab into a directory inside your hard drive. And to do so, 
if we're saving multiple versions of the same tab, we need to have a unique identifier. And uh, this uh, method of incrementing the unique identifier by one, every time we reopen an Excel workbook is a very value adding approach. That said, uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If yes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. Mm -hmm.